in darkness. I shall be light. Times of doubt. I shall keep faith. of rage. I shall hone my craft. In vengeance, I shall have no mercy. No fear. of death, I shall have no remorse.
my name is David Goldfarb, and this is Project White. Project White is set in an alternate history of the early Viking era. This is the Dark Ages, and in this history, humans share the world with the last remnants of a forgotten species of intelligent creatures. Now, what's unique about our game is that you see the world through the eyes of these creatures. And at the moment, we have the point of view of a young creature, basically a child as it's searching for its parents. As you can see, these creatures move on all fours. Our young creatures are good at sneaking, climbing, and jumping. This is a cruel world, uh, and humans have almost eradicated your kind entirely. Here we can see two of them hacking away at the body of your father, probably to take a trophy. They've spotted us. We need to get away. And while a child, you can easily be killed, even by the weakest humans. We're trapped on this bridge. There's an escape route. Okay, I think we're safe. As you move around the caves and tunnels that these creatures inhabit, you'll see what humans have done to your kind over the years. Sneak to safety. Now, one of the things about being a young creature is that you're, you can crawl into spaces that no human could follow. Now, this huge cave with the mysterious tree is one of the last few places of refuge in the world for creatures like you. So that's the world through the eyes of a young creature, running away from even the weakest human. Now we're going to go forward in time and see the world through the eyes of a larger, more powerful adolescent creature, and see what they're capable of doing. Hello and welcome to Stick Shards of Darkness, the new stealth infiltration game from Cyanide Studio coming to PS4. Join me for a moment to learn about the new mechanics, lore and gameplay to be explored in Styx's new adventure. Stolen by a dark elf shapeshifter, the Ambassador's Scepter, powered by a mysterious quartz, is Styx's target in Karangar, a port village hosting a diplomatic summit. Addicted to Amber and intrigued by the magical properties of Quartz, Styx must infiltrate the port and gain access for Heladrin, his latest shadowy client, and her airship. Using verticality and shadows to your advantage, sneak your way through the large, open spaces patrolled by elves, humans, dwarves, and other nuisances. Today, we'll be avoiding and killing the humans and elves, but it depends on your playstyle. Keeping tabs on the amount of noise you're making is an important factor in your success. Land on carpets to soften your fall and use ropes to avoid a clumsy drop. Clever use of the environment will keep sticks hidden, while other clever uses of the environment will keep the enemy hidden. Remember, a dead guard is a quiet guard. Thinning out the patrols is one way to play Styx Shards of Darkness, and there are multiple ways to do this. Throwing up in the refreshments is one of them. And after some time, they're bound to take a drink. Oh. Ah. Ah. <laughs> Leaving their bodies behind is a great way to get busted. Scattered throughout the level are many crafting components, a new feature in Sticks Shards of Darkness. Collecting these essential ingredients will allow you to craft many useful items, which are integral to some of the abilities you'll see today. Crafting a bolt would allow for a ranged attack, useful in a bind. And the egg, well, you'll see how that's used in a moment. 
But first, let's make sure that if we are spotted, we won't have every elf between here and the Tower of Akanash on our tail. A useful tip for some of the inevitable missteps. I was bad. Come and take my ding -a -ling away. That noise. May Lissro protect us. In the shadows, your knife will light up, letting you know that you're difficult to be seen. On the bottom right of your screen, you'll see an orange bar. This is your amber used to power Styx's magical abilities. Getting from A to B in this corridor is difficult with the amount of enemies patrolling. So clever use of the amber will illuminate useful and dangerous objects in your path, allowing you to make better decisions on how to move. Invisibility provides an expensive but effective cloak, but they can still hear you. Those dumbasses left a window open. How nice of them. Inside, things aren't quite so bright, working at an advantage for our little green friend. Clever use of sand to take out the lights will provide an element of visual cover, but the best way is usually to climb high. With the egg, we're able to create a cocoon, allowing Styx to throw a clone of himself large distances and embody that clone. Glory to Lister. Glory. Using the bolt and a chemical potion, we can take out both of the guards pretty easily, dissolving one body and carrying the remaining body to a place to hide. But before Heladrin can attend the summit, the register must be adjusted with a name to avoid rousing suspicion. For this, we can use the light to distract the guards. Now it's written down in black and white. Is his past valid? Yes, but we'll keep him here a little while longer. This will teach him to control himself. Mm, I need to get that pass. Okay, let's head for the docks. Again using the environment, a little patience and observance opens opportunities to take out guards. But with the register changed, it's time to open the gates. There are many paths to take throughout each of the levels, some more dangerous than others, and many of them hidden. Sometimes the best way to avoid a fight is to stick to the shadows, and stick to the walls. Using the blimp, we can alert the guards to open the door and Heladrin can attend the summit. But we've alerted a suspicious guard, so we've got to hide. Q 
curiosity killed the elf, and we don't even need to make an effort to hide him. Has more holes than One last check to make sure she's on her way, and we've completed about half of the mission that takes place in the mountainous port of Karanga. To find out what happens next, stay tuned to our next gameplay videos to find out about all of the races, features, and new mechanics to be discovered in Styx Shards of Darkness. Coming soon to PS4. drank Atlantis, and the years of the rise of the sons of Arius, there was an age undreamed of when shining kingdoms lay spread across the world like blue mantles beneath the stars.
really seems like a fair fight. Just one of you against all of us. Let's go, big guy! All right, how are we gonna do this?
I am the resurrection and the life. He that believeth in me, though he were dead, yet shall he live. And whosoever liveth and believeth in me shall never die. We commend unto thy hands of mercy, most merciful Father. The soul of our sister departed, and we commit her body to the ground. Earth to earth, ashes to ashes, dust to dust. Why kill my Mary? Why bury her in this distant and awful place? It's a quarantine requirement, madam. The epidemic... I'm so tired. Please just take me home, Avery. Yes, madam. I know I should feel something, so why don't I? What does it mean? That I'm dead too? What's troubling you so much, Jonathan? Lady Ashbury, what are you doing here? I came to give you a warning, my dear. There's really no need. It's best if you just leave. Please, Jonathan. Drop the pretense. I've had centuries to observe this world. I know the pain you're in. Really? So what's your diagnosis, Doctor? You're not heartless, but you are afraid to be free with your feelings, in case the hunger in you is let loose too. You missed your calling, my lady. You would make a fine alienist. Mark my words, Jonathan. The more you hold back what's inside you, the quicker you'll become the monster you most fear. But what if it's already too late? See that steeple? St. Mary's Church. I can't think of a better place for you to go to right now. My lady wants me to confess. No, Jonathan. It's you who wants to confess, I think. She glides. A smile of frozen promise. 
A Pythian ode written on Can't wait to split a heart one of those dead bastards. Oh, I'll get him who's never been face to face with all these things. Hear that? <laughs> See those bite marks? The flu didn't do this. There's a vampire at work here that needs killing. Easy, Billy boy. This corpse is drained dry. Whoever did this is long gone. Bloody leeches. I'll cut down the first one to show his face. for a vampire, and were prepared for that meeting accordingly. This flu kills so quickly. Less than three days. No one even heard this poor fellow's calls for help. Yeah, these things smell even worse when they're burning. I like their screams when you burn them alive. That's this nest of them cleaned out. We won't see any of these bastards back here again. Steady, boys. We got one of them here.
always punctual is our Joe. You better have my money, Barry. Well, can't you just look the other way this week, Joe? Come on. We can sort it out, right? Come on, Barry. You know the game. You pay for peace of mind. Go. Please. Always check. for Christ's sake. It's not my call, Barry. You pay one way or another. Excuse me, sir. I have a few questions for you. Another journalist. If I don't answer the first one, what makes you think I'm going to answer you? Go on, piss off. I'm a doctor, not a journalist. A doctor, you say? Don't often see a doctor down here. I believe the contents of this box may hold more than a passing interest to you. Oh, letters regarding my boy. If you don't mind, sir, I'll be taking those. You do not seem either surprised or pained by this. Surprised about what? Harry's me boy and I'm his dad, that's all anyone needs to know. If your son is ill, maybe I could check on him. If you would just let me enter your home, sir. Don't think I like your attitude, sir. In fact, I'm starting to take a dislike to your face. I could try and improve it, if you get my meaning, sir. father. Yes, my son. What is it? I'm sorry to disturb you, father. My name is Jonathan Reed. Really? That was the name of the poor girl we buried tonight. Such a terrible story. Are you family? Yes. And more. I... I'm the monster who killed her. You're distressed, my son. Come inside and we can talk about it. Monsters, father. Do you believe in them? Troubled souls, yes. Sinners from cradle to grave, but monsters? No, my son. They don't exist. I hope you're right, father. For the sake of us both, I truly hope you're...